First, you need to remove the old tubing. Unscrew the adapter clockwise. Then, remove the old reservoir. Remove the linking screw from the old reservoir. A linking screw can be used for up to one year. After you've removed the linking screw, ensure that the blue top hat spins freely and that it is flush with the top of the linking screw. Remove the new reservoir from its packet. Remove the plastic end cap which is disposable. Keep the little cap found inside for later. Insert back into the packet for safekeeping. Insert the linking screw into the new reservoir ensuring the two plastic teeth fully engage with the serrated end of the reservoir. It should firmly click into place. Then lubricate the inside of the reservoir by pushing the linking screw in and out two to three times ensuring the whole inner surface is covered. The reservoir is now ready to be filled with insulin. Once filled with insulin, gently drop the reservoir into the easy setter and ensure that you hold the button for two to three seconds. After removing the reservoir from the easy setter, the end of the linking screw does not rest against the bung inside. Gently drop the reservoir into the pump, never force it in. If fitted correctly, the main body of the reservoir should protrude around one millimeter out of the pump. Screw on the adapter, Remember, it's counterclockwise and not too tight. Never use the key to tighten the adapter. Point the pump downwards and then remove the white cap. Attach the new tubing, screwing counterclockwise, firm but tight. Press the arrow key to move to the refill icon, then press OK. Press OK again and then press and hold the plus button. Wait until the correct amount of insulin is showing, up to 300 units. There needs to be at least 50 units in a reservoir for the pump to work. Press OK, and then OK again to confirm the amount. The pump will now show prime. Press OK, and then OK again. Instructions will make sure the reservoir is inserted and will guide you to hold the pump upright during priming. Press OK, and then OK again to start the tube prime. You will see the prime start. Place the pump upright. Watch for the insulin passing along the tubing and ensure any bubbles are primed out. When three to four drops of insulin are seen at the end of the tubing, press the minus button to stop the priming and then press the minus button again to exit. A 60 centimeter tubing will take around 14 units to prime. Connect the tubing to the inserted cannula. Press the arrow to move to prime cannula, press OK, and you will see the prime volume. 0.3 units for a 6mm cannula. Press OK, and then OK again to prime. The pump is now ready.